Amen. Good morning, Mount Olive. Uh, how's everybody doing today? I wonder if anybody's got up this morning uh, and they feel like that they're just carrying around a big old uh, bag of sand. Anybody feel burdened down this morning? Well, well, we'd like to talk to you about uh, being burdened down. We talked in the message Sunday about the gospel and how that when the when the gospel was preached or when it is preached it will speak to to several different types of people and one of those was those who are burdened down and so we want to go to a scripture that we referenced Sunday and that comes out of Matthew 11 and 28 so Matthew 11 and 28 says this, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. That's a very powerful verse. I think it's important to note that this was the very first individual in invitation that Jesus has given. This is the very first in his ministry, the very first time that Jesus extends a personal end of, uh, invitation to an individual. Come unto me. That's an invitation. So you say, well, how do I come unto Jesus? Well, you come unto Jesus. You come unto Jesus by surrendering your will, by saying, okay, God, it's not going to be my way anymore. Jesus, it's not going to be uh, my plans and my decisions, but I'm surrendering to you. That's how we come to Jesus. I surrender my will to you. I believe in you and I surrender to you. Jesus said, just come unto me. Get on your knees and pray and say, Jesus, I come. Come unto me. Who? Who's he making this invitation to? All those that labor and are heavy laden. Labor means to be exhausted because you've worked to fatigue. You're ready to just collapse on the couch. Now, what is it that can make us fatigued in this life? Of course, it's our work. But it's also spiritually, it could be our battle with the flesh and our mistakes. It could be our strive to be satisfied in things other than God. Um, and then he says, those that are heavy laden. And so heavy laden means like I demonstrated, to carry a load, to be feel pressure upon. And of course, there's several things in this life that uh, can make us feel heavy laden. So again, we see this powerful scripture, this gospel scripture, the good news that comes from Jesus. That's what we preached about Sunday. And the good news here in this verse that comes from Jesus is that there'll be times when you'll be exhausted by the strife, the strife just with daily life, and the strife also with sin. Do you feel fatigued today, exhausted? And then there's going to be times that you feel pressured or a heavy load because of maybe the pressures of life, the troubles, the trials, but it also could be the guilt of sin. So I hope this devotion meets those today that feel like they're carrying that bag of sand because Jesus gives you a promise. If you'll start this day with him, if you'll come unto him, he promises you that he will give you rest. You see that right there? He will give you rest. Rest means to get a reprieve from that burden. Rest means a time of recovery. Rest means a time to be refreshed and renewed. It happens, yes, in our body, but he wants to do it in your mind, bring you the peace of mind. He wants to do it in your soul, bringing you peace in your soul, to protect you from fear and anxiety, to bring a rest in your conscience. Does anybody need to find rest? You know, I think about as we end the devotion, uh, many of the airports we've been in, Charlotte, I've been in Charlotte, I've been in um, Roanoke, I've been in Knoxville, I've been many, uh, Asheville, went through many airports. And you know, most of those airports, it's kind of interesting, they'll have a chapel. And why would you have a chapel in an airport? Probably for some who's scared to get on the plane, right? But I think also you've got travelers going from one destination to the next. And the airport knows that that's exhausting. There's a lot of pressure. And so there's a place there 
where they can go to get rest, where they can go spiritually and recover and renew. When you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, he's given you a chapel in the busyness in your life, and that chapel is in your heart. It's the Holy Spirit. And all you have to do is enter into that chapel, just you and Christ, and he promises you that he can give you rest today. I end you with this poem. It says, I heard the voice of Jesus say, come unto me and rest. Lay down thy weary one, lay down. Lay thy head upon my breast. So I came to Jesus as I was, weary and worn and sad. I found in him a resting place, and he has made me glad. Have a great day, Mount Olive Church.